Oh. <laughs> we live, baby. <laughs> when I got drafted, it hit me like two hours later, and I'm like, I'm in the NFL, you know. Uh, but uh, I, I'm just, I'm just so grateful. What's up, big time? Hey. <laughs> Took you here. long enough. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank That plane you. wasn't fast enough for you? Nah, I mean, it was fast. It was definitely fast. Childhood dream uh, was to be in the NFL. You missed oh, me? You missed me or what? It's been a while since we were in my office. The fact that it's happening right now, you know, I, I, just, I just can't believe it still. You know, it's amazing. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's up, my That's man? Like Good. You happy? I'm so happy. I told you. Here. You did tell me. You did uh -huh. tell me. You're right. That's the way it works. When I got the call, man, emotions just took over me, got the best of me, and I told myself I wasn't going to cry, but uh, <laughs> I cried like a baby. What's up, man? I'm good, man. You good? Up, Let's go. What's up? What we here for? Well, I worked my whole life to be in this position, you know, this was my dream, and um, now that I'm here, you know, now that my dreams came into fruition, you know, be the player that I know I can be, you know, be, be a team guy, be very coachable, and, um, you know, help this organization win ball games. It's my dog. What up, coach? You made it happen for me, I man. I told you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. I'm good. Good to see you. I'm ready, baby. I'm ready, man. I appreciate you for believing in me. Yes, sir. I told you we're going to try yes, to figure sir. it out. Yes, sir. Can't we're, wait. We're going to do it. I promise. Everything been good so far? Yes, sir. I just, emotionally, it was just too many of them running through. You know, I did a couple of interviews after, you know. Was at a loss for words, you know. I'm still pretty much at a loss for words, you know. It still feels like a dream. There was no bigger way to, you know, introduce me to the NFL than to have, you know, one of the greatest of all time on the phone with me, you know, speaking those words to you that you're going to be a part of, you know, such a, a storied franchise. And uh, I appreciate it, and I hope to pay him back with. Many great plays down the line. Really happy for you. I mean, uh, it's gonna be fun. I've never been a high energy guy. Like I'm not not gonna be boisterous, yelling, no rah rah. But I'm gonna be there for my my guys. So you got a lot going on. Here's the deal. You both belong in this league. So, now I've been a surrogate dad to so many people. I don't have to worry about you two guys. So here's the day. You're going to have so much going on. Be respectful. Be thankful. So, so every one of the players here in this building are looking to see are you arrogant or not. Okay, buy so, your time right. Come in and we'll be fine. They brought in you know, playmakers and guys who have an attitude of things will get changed right away. It's not going to be the same. And that uh, we're going to we're going to change things right away. That uh, we can win and we will win. Glad to be home. How you doing, buddy? I don't know if I can be any better. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Are you doing all right? Good. You looking good? Yeah, you know, for the last couple months, I've uh, been thinking about this moment, you know, over and over and over again and trying to play out this scenario. And uh, recently, I've been thinking about being here specifically in Cleveland uh, quite a bit. And now to be here is, is very exciting and, and just enjoying this process right now and, and, and loving getting to know everyone around here. Congrats. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congrats. Glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you. It's a whirlwind. You yeah. just got to slow down. Same game. Okay. Of course. You'll be good. Of course. All right. Thank you. You know, football now, especially at this level, is, you know, everybody's fast, everybody's strong, everybody's talented. But the game now is from the neck up, and it's about the guy who's going to, you know, do the little things, the minute details that are going to separate themselves from everybody else, and I'm that guy. How you doing? Good. 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 
What's special about this locker room is that everybody's working for one goal and everybody wants to see each other, you know what I mean, get better and get to the next level. Everybody's here to push each other because everybody wants this one goal is you know what I mean, to win and then eventually get to the Super Bowl. You know, you got to get the ball. Well, you need more turnovers on defense. See ball, find ball, get ball. That's what they believe in. They're out there struggling, fighting to make sure they're doing the right thing. And anytime you have that kind of accountability on your team, you can definitely make great strides. Well, I feel like the team is looking very good. Getting a lot of talented players, I feel like, you know, we're going to do something special. Like not only are we, you know, competing against ourselves on that field, but we're also competing, you know, to be better against the other guys around, you know, the NFL. Whatever reps you do get, you just got to make the most out of You know, so that's just, that's just what my mindset is. Make the most out of every opportunity I get. There's talent there. And if we can develop it and harness it the right way and the guys keep working and working at it every day, you know, who knows what can happen. First phase is just coming in and just, I mean, getting our condition right. The second phase is on the field with the coaches, and we might not throw the quarterbacks, but we're over there with our coach working on our routes. We're still running our routes without catching the ball. I mean, then you got the third phase, which is OTAs, and you get to, I mean, put that all together, and you go against the defense, you get to test that, and which is pretty cool because now you got a feel of how training camp is going to start and how what you what you need to know. You see what y'all did? You see what y'all brought? That's what I get for the young pups. You feel me? Hey, I just want to be like him. Don't be like me. I just want to be like you. <laughs> be better than me. That's what I tell my kids. Don't be hey, don't, me. Hey, don't kid me. Don't be kid better. me. <laughs> be better than me. I love this game. There's, there's no way that you could get to this level without having some passion and some love for the game. And some guys, after a couple of years, will tell you that hey, they're playing for the money and they're playing just to come here to pay for their bills and stuff like that. But, I mean, for me, it's always going into that locker room and just being out there on the field. More than anything, I love just being out there with these guys, grinding hard, and then going out there and playing with each other every Sunday. Well, I wear a helmet. Kenny just has such a drive about him. He came from like a low income background, you know, hardworking dad, his dad was a teacher, he actually went to Rutgers though too. I think Kenny's mindset was just, he has to make it just to take care of everybody. He wants to help everybody. He was like, oh, I gotta get my mom a house. I, you know, gotta help my little brothers. And he's so giving and loving. And my dad calls him the beast because I swear that's just what he is. Like he just, knows what he wants and he goes after it and he's not gonna let anybody like prevent him from reaching his goal. Outstanding, there you go. Great catch. <laughs> Vertical. <laughs> nice. Literally, he walked out of the hospital after he got his knee surgery. And I remember Dr. Elrod's like, stop. You can't just Sit in the wheel, he's like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. My biggest, biggest inspiration is, I tell you, my kids right now, my, my daughter loves this game of, I mean, to see me out there and, and play the game. Run the face, run the face. <laughs> we know Hughes Jackson was here and he had great success with his offense. And that's something that I wanted to be in. And so we were excited. You know what I mean? We just wanted to see what the future would hold. We put it in God's hands and we're like, hey, whatever happens, happens, and we're gonna leave our minds open. When we got here, it, it surprised us. All, everybody upstairs from the front office to downstairs and everybody behind the scene was just so nice to us. We wanted to move out there every next day to tell you the truth. 
what's special about this locker room is that everybody's working to, for one goal and everybody wants to see each other, you know what I mean, get better and get to the next level. And everybody's here to push each other because everybody wants this one goal is, you know what I mean, to win and then eventually get to the Super Bowl. And everybody's working towards it and everybody's pushing each other. I never had that in my whole career, man. so it's kind of cool. There has to be a trust out there on the field that I'm gonna do my job so you can do your job. You're not doing it alone. You gotta be able to block out all the weird white noise, focus on what's important, and play ball. You guys have enough athletic talent to play, but I don't know if you have enough guts to play our way. And I'm gonna put as much pressure on you in these next three days, because if you guys are gonna stay to Monday, and I, and I gotta put my name on you, to walk in here with these guys who already have bled in the NFL, I gotta know whether you belong. I don't wanna wait until we put you in a preseason game to see you crap down your leg, piss in your pants, not be able to trust you. There has to be a trust out there on the field that I'm gonna do my job so you can do your job. You're not doing it alone. This is 11 man on defense, 11 on one. We're 11 guys going after the ball and we all gotta be on the same page. You gotta be able to block out stress. You gotta be able to block out all the weird white noise. Focus on what's important and play ball. Feet down. Get out. The way he is off the field and on the field, he's the same exact person. He's gonna give you what's on his mind all the time. And the defense is gonna take his attitude. I was like, these guys are gonna come out here, they gotta trash talk, and they gotta trash talk, and they gotta run, they gotta run to the ball, they're gonna play hard, and they're gonna play every down as hard as they can. Drive, drive, ball, 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 ball. That's the way to score. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We want that ton of respect for him. The way he challenges guys, the way he holds guys accountable. As a player, that's what you want. You love consistency, and you know exactly what you're gonna get from Greg every single day. In your face, yelling, screaming, getting the most out of guys. And I think the most impressive thing about him is the same way he challenges his players, he challenges his coaches. Coaches, you better get your right. That's not them, that is us. That is us. You know what to expect from him on what he expects. You know what to expect from him on what his standards are, on how we're gonna do things, on how it's gonna be done. But then at the same point in time, he's gonna constantly keep you on your toes. Present environments that teach you about yourself. Yep, and you guys understand, if we're not on their side of the line of scrimmage, you're going to hell. You're gonna die in hell. Get off the ball. Come on! Bam, bam, bam! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I believe all good and great players want to be taught, motivated, and inspired. When you hear Clyde talking to somebody else, you should be listening about you. Come on, come on, sink, 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 sink. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, touch the ball. That's it, good. Try to rip that ball every time. One of our philosophies of how we go about playing defense is live on the edge, play on the edge, never hurt this team. Pushing the rule to the very closest part we can, pushing the advantage to the very closest part we can, play on the very edge of speed, aggressiveness, toughness. But the number one thing of those three things we talk about, don't hurt this team never hurt this team. Because if you play outside of that, and all of a sudden we are penalized as a team, all of a sudden field position is affected because somebody got selfish, somebody didn't play within the rules. No, live on the edge, play on the edge, never hurt this team. Get off! Sack, 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 sack. Touchdown for us, touchdown for us. Touchdown for us!
You know what? You guys are doing this faster than a lot of teams I've coached. That's good. That's very good. The dream every single year that you coach in this National Football League ever is there's really only one simple thing, and that is to win another championship. And we, we laugh and joke a lot behind the scenes. Uh, we say it can't be that simple. It can't be that simple in saying it, but it's extremely hard in application in doing it. So I've never, ever, ever, ever been afraid of a challenge. This dream would be phenomenal for the people here in Cleveland, the fans of Cleveland, to win a championship. That's really our only goal. Here we got it! It can't be that simple. Let's go, baby! We also are excited about the young talent because these guys can be together for a long time and, and create something special here. Jog to where we going, man. Jog to where we going. Get them moving, coaches. Get them moving. Man, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get your hats and let's go. Gotta have a day, let's go. Here we go, here we go. Put your hats in the right spot. This all starts with our discipline, here we go. All starts with our discipline, how we do things. Put your hands on me, it's over for you. Especially you, 92. You too, 28, keep hitting my, keep hitting my guys, okay? Keep hitting my guys late. Yeah, all right. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see. I see you went over there and bumped them balls. I'm teasing you. Good job. Good job. Teaching young men about culture is, you know, you have to have the right culture first and foremost here in this building, and I think we do. Um, I, I truly don't think you totally change it until you start winning, though. I will say that. But I think what it's about coming here, being a part of this football team, being a part of the organization, I think we've laid the right groundwork in our locker room. Back to back. What you know about that, Shobes? Back to back. Huh? Hey, you love my state, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Stop that sand, boy. Yeah. Stand on your head, man. <laughs> Players know when they come here that quickly, very quickly, they need to transform into what it is here. That, you know, we don't kind of turn and do it their way. They kind of do it our way. And that's my goal. My goal is to have the culture kind of coach itself. So when the players walk in, they understand what you need to do at your position, what it's like to be a Cleveland Brown, what it's like to be involved with anybody within this organization. But I truly believe that we will totally turn that corner when we start winning more. This ain't his music, that's for sure. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, you know this music? I know Cody knows it. Do you know this? I didn't think so. You're not playing this at your wedding, are you? I didn't think so. You gotta play fast, you got me? Look, even if you do things wrong, go a thousand miles an hour. I don't know where you get the go slow thing from. You no, know, man, sometimes you're gonna mess things up. That's part of it right now. You're learning. But go fast. You got me? I think we're in a good place. I think uh, when you have guys like, um, you know, Joe Thomas and uh, Jamie Collins and, you know, you look around the Joe Haytons of the world, you feel good because uh, those guys are good players and they've been through it and I think they know exactly where the organization has been and I think they want to be a part of the, the rebirth of the organization of doing good things. So, I mean, we all wish we had a lot of veteran players in a lot of different spots, but we also are excited about the young talent because these guys can be together for a long time and, and create something special here. Y'all got that man going today. Right to your crotch. Out there wide, boom, good. And then you can come out running or you can do that. You can run or do that. Take one under center and anchor on your back leg. Anchor. Good. Okay, that's fine, that's good. Using all the techniques we have. Good, here we go. I feel I'm, I'm very optimistic about what this season will bring. 
because uh, no one knows, you know, what, it will, what will happen. We know what we want to have happen, but no one knows how that will play out. Last year is behind us. You know, I think we've uh, turned the page on that. I think we all understand what it was. And I said before, last year was something we needed to go through to get to where we needed to be to start sustaining winning for years to come. Then it's worth it. It was hard. I think everybody involved with it understood that. But now it's time to start moving this organization in the right direction, this football team. So that's what we're looking forward to. If we walk out of training camp, one being healthy, and um, uh, answering the questions that I think we have uh, from all three units, talking about offense, defense, and special teams, I think we'll be well on our way. It's an opportunity for us to start teaching our men what we expect, what the expectation is here as a Cleveland Brown football player, um, how we come in the building, how we uh, work in the weight room, how we work in the classroom, and obviously how we work on the practice field. So it's a chance to really get, get those rules and regulations embedded in our players. And um, obviously we had some new staff members, so it was a chance to really start to teach our new scheme defensively. And um, I think we're off to a good start. Jog to where we going, man. Jog to where we going. Get them moving, coaches. Get them moving. Get them moving. Good. Good. Smart football, right? That's smart football. I got to outwork everybody. I got to be the hardest worker in the room. I got to do everything possible because that only gives you a chance.